If you want to take your prototyping in Figma to the next level, if you want to showcase your design with an eye candy animation and you want it to be easy and fast, then stick around for this one because this Figma plugin will blow your mind. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Gal Barzilla, I'm a product designer and in today's tutorial we're going to review an amazing animation plugin for Figma named Jitter. But first, what is Jitter? Jitter is an easy to use animation tool on the web. It helps designers make animations for videos, websites or apps in a simple way. It's fast and easy and you can export your creations as HD videos or GIFs. This plugin is either free with some import and export limitations. For example, we can only use layers with solid colors and strokes with no effects. Or you can use the Pro Plan with no limitations for $12 a month. In the end of the video, I'll give you my final thoughts on this plugin. As always, let's begin with installing the plugin. Let's go back home, click on Explore Community, search for Jitter, click on Plugins and install Jitter plugin. Now we can go back to our design document, right click with the mouse on the canvas, go all the way down to Plugins and see our new Jitter plugin. Okay, so what you're seeing on my screen is an onboarding frame I created a while ago as a part of a Squid Game app concept. We have a few elements here like the illustration, logo title, call to action button and so on and so on. If you'd like to see an in-depth process of how I designed this interface, you can click on this link up here. I'll open the Jitter plugin again and you'll see right away that the plugin is asking us to select a frame. So I'll select my onboarding frame and hit on export to Jitter. And once it's done, we can click on open in Jitter. That will open up Jitter on your default browser. Let's do a quick UI review of what we have here. So you see it looks a lot like Figma, so it should be pretty familiar. On the left side, we have our layers panel. On the top, we have the toolbar if you like to add text, shapes, or images and on the right side we have our design and animate windows but the big difference from figma is that on the bottom we have a timeline if you ever experienced with an editing software or after effects this should be familiar now let's take a look how easy it is let's begin with animating our logo title right here if i'll select the title layer you can see on the right side that i have a new animation option let's click on that and you can see that we have many animations options to choose from what I really like about it is that we can actually see a preview on how the animation will look like. So we have in and out options, but we can also customize if we want. Now in my case, I really like this mask and slide in animation, and I think it works well for our title logo. So I'll select this option and look how cool this looks like. Also, I can play with the animation direction, change the duration and easing. So we're getting a lot of flexibility here. Down in our timeline, we can see the layer we added. And also here we can play with the animation duration, but also decide where we want the animation to occur and position it on the timeline. So let's say for example, I like the animation to start after one second, I can simply drag the layer and position it. Let's continue by adding more animations. I select my illustration image here, click on new animation and let's go with grow in. Let's go back to the beginning of our timeline and hit play. Looks nice, but it's too slow for my taste. I'll fix it in a bit. Next, I like to select those elements in this box and group them together. This is exactly like in Figma. I hold down shift on my keyboard and select the layers I like and hit on command G to put them inside of a group. Now I'll select that group and create a new animation. This time I'll choose move and scale in. The last piece will be that call to action button. Let's select it, new animation and I'll choose mask center. Now I'll adjust the layers timing in my timeline until I have something I'm happy with. I think this is pretty good. It's amazing how fast we can play with it. Once we're done, we can click on this export button in the right top corner and export it as a video or GIF. I'll choose GIF. And now we can actually bring it back to Figma because it supports video and GIF files and preview it there. Let's click F on the keyboard and create a new frame. I'm gonna go with iPhone 13 mini and drag that GIF from our download folder, position it and click on preview. And <laughs> look at that, we have our cool animation. So final thoughts, do I think this plugin worth it? If you are a product designer and would like to have a quick prototyping workflow, then yes, I absolutely recommend Jitter plugin. I think the price is worth it. For example, using something like After Effects will cost you $22 a month. Almost twice the price and it's much more complex and hard to learn. 
On the other hand, if you're already paying for Adobe Suite, then I'm recommending learning and using Adobe After Effects because it's pretty amazing. You can do whatever comes to mind and expand your skills as a designer. And also, these simple animations can be done in Figma with the help of Smart Animate. It just takes longer. Anyway, I really like to hear your thoughts. Please share them in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already and tap that like button. You can follow my design work on Instagram. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.